What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing the Carabao Cup third round preview between Manchester City and Wickham Wanderers on Tuesday the 21st of September 2021 at the Etihad Stadium with a 7.45pm BST kickoff time. It is the Carabao Cup third round match, straight knockout, no extra time, straight to penalties if it's level after 90 minutes. It's the Premier League champions taking on League One outfit Wickham Wanderers. This is a big deal for Wickham Wanderers. But before I crack on with this video, make sure, like always, if you are enjoying the content, you want to help support my channel, then do subscribe. Press that red button, press the bell, and put your push notifications on. Also, don't forget to go and follow me on my social media. They're sliding across at the bottom of the screen. Links are also in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries. Leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video and do let me know your score and team prediction in the comments below of this game. Lastly, I'm calling on all men. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, the premium global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. Manscaped provide the best tools, equipment and liquids for every body part. They have been kind enough to send me the new Lawnmower 4.0. The Lawnmower 4.0 is a cordless trimmer with a wireless charging system, providing 90 minutes on one full charge on the lithium-ion battery. The trimmer has LED lights on the front to show battery life and also on the trimmer for a more precise shave. Ceramic blades with skin-safe technology are provided Provided to help reduce nicks and cuts. Four trimmer guard options are also available to customise your hair length. The Lawn Mower 4.0 is waterproof, allowing for easy cleanup. A new travel lock feature is built in to prevent vibrations whilst on the go. So come and join me and 2 million other men worldwide who trust Manscaped when it comes to keeping yourself clean and tidy. Use code JSGC20 for 20% off and free worldwide shipping. Thank you very much to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. It is much appreciated. If you want to go and use code JSGC20 at checkout, that will give you 20% off plus free shipping worldwide for you to go and enjoy. Without further ado, though, let's crack on with this video. And we're going to start off first by speaking about our opposition, as always, Wickham Wanderers. I sense Wickham are going to be well up for the cup here and well up for this game. It's a big game for them. There's absolutely no pressure on them. It's a game of a lifetime for some of their players as well. They'll want to be starting in this game. They've won their last match against Charlton Athletic to make sure that they're in good form going into this game and also playing for places for this big game at the Etihad Stadium. So they'll be delighted with that and actually unbeaten in their last two games as well, Wickham. And so they're coming in with a bit of confidence into this game. Gareth Ainsworth, he is their manager. I did manage to see a little bit of them in the championship from last season when they were on TV. They are a typical championship team that's now been relegated into League One. A difficult to beat, hard to break down Park the bus type team who's going to sit uh, deep. They're going to be aggressive. They're going to be physical. They're going to play hoof ball. There's going to be long throws, corners, set pieces. They're going to fly into challenges. They're going to try and rough us up in this game as well. I'll be honest. Any player that's going to be starting against Chelsea, I wouldn't be starting in this game due to the risk of injury. Now, having a look at some of their players as well. Some good players in there. Daryl Horgan, he's an attacker, likes to run in from time to time. I remember him from his time at Preston North End. They've got Sam Vokes, who may well be starting up front. They've got Josh Scowen as well in the middle. Jordan and Beater out on the wing. To be honest, not a bad attack. They've also got David Stockdale in net. They've got David Wheeler too, uh, but he didn't start against Charlton, so I don't imagine he'll be starting in this game. And I am also wondering if cult favourite um, Adebayo Akinfenwa, will he start? That is the question. Now, what I'm hoping for from Wickham is I'm hoping they're going to go full strength in this game and not make 11 changes and put out a weak inside as they're going to accept defeat before the game has even begun. I don't want that to happen. I'm hoping they're going to go full strength and really take the game to Manchester City and have a good proper go. I hope they do do that. I want this to be a really good game. Uh, but to be fair, uh, this it's a banana skin. It could have been a real big banana skin had this been away from home, but it is at the Etihad Stadium. And whilst it's at the Etihad Stadium, I sit here with expectation, with the holders, the four times consecutive um, League Cup winners, with the five time champions in, the, in the champions in the League Cup in the last six seasons, and with the six times Carabao Cup champions in the last eight seasons. We love the League Cup. We are the joint most successful team in the League Cup of all time, joint with eight League Cup titles, along with Liverpool. Could this season be the season that we make history and make it a record-breaking nine? 
nine. Our journey starts with this game. For Manchester City, I'm expecting a lot of changes for this game. I don't see any reason why any player would be starting in this game who is going to be starting on uh, Saturday against Chelsea. Pep has already said that players are needing a rest, rest they're feeling tired. So give them their rest, give them uh, what they need to be making sure that they are ready to go for the big Premier League games away against Chelsea and Liverpool. And sandwiched between them is a trip to Paris to play PSG. To be fair, this game, the least of our priorities. So I expect a full rotation in place for Manchester City. In terms of our team, Zach Steffen, he's isolating. John Stones, Americ Laporte, they're not going to be risked. The question is, Phil Foden, De Bruyne, will they be risked? Everyone else in contention to start. I'm expecting a lot of young players to either be on the bench, maybe even starting in this game. I'm going to pop up my team prediction now for you guys. I'm going for Scott Carson in goal, Kyle Walker at right back, Josh Wilson starting at left back. I'm going for Luke Mbete and Nathan Ake starting as Manchester City's centre-backs there. Good opportunity there for both Luke and Josh starting in the defence. Uh, according to me, that's my team prediction. Fernandinho in defensive midfield, Cole Palmer playing just ahead of him and Alexander Zinchenko in a more natural attacking midfield role. That should suit him. And also another big opportunity for another young, high-quality player like Cole Palmer. I'm going for Riyad Mahrez on the right-hand side. I'd give Phil Foden some minutes, get him starting, put him on the left-hand side. Liam Delap. Hopefully, finally, this is the game where we get to see more of Liam Delap. We've not signed a striker. We want to know what he can do. He's fit to go. Get him into that team. That's my um, team prediction for this game. James McAtee, Samuel Adozi, Romeo Lavia, Oscar Bob, they could all feature as well in this game. In terms of my score prediction, I think it's going to be a pretty naff game. Not very fluent, lots of rotation in place from Manchester City. I'm not expecting this to be a classic. I'm going for 2-0 to Manchester City. Get back to winning ways. Let's get into the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. In terms of betting tips, if Liam Delap does start, I fancy a Liam Delap uh, goal any time. I don't fancy this to be a both teams to score. I fancy Manchester City to keep a clean sheet here as well. But there we go. That's been my preview. Um, let's go and defend our trophy. Let's make it a record-breaking season once more. Let's go and make more history. Our Carabao journey starts now. So, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below, including your score and team prediction for this game. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Social media links, they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries. Go and check out today's video sponsor, Manscaped. Grab yourself a Manscaped top just like me. Get yourself 20% off using code JSGC20 at checkout. Get yourself 20% off and free shipping worldwide. Thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring this video and I'll see you all again very soon for the next Manchester City video which will be the live stream watch along of this game between Manchester City and Wickham Wanderers in the third round of the Carabao Cup. So I'll see you then. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.